Well, it's me, Dirk. People from scratch know me as Pinto B. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the next button on projects that usually have more than, like, I have a music project, and it, it needs, well, it needs a next button and a previous button. It, it's not too hard to make, but since I have a project that has a bunch and a bunch of music, it's going to show on just a second. Uh, yeah, I had to add code to all of these for the next button to work and for the previous button to work. I'll show you the code. I had to use multiple next buttons as well. I go down and I just need to go back up. Let me just find it. Well, I'll show you my previous buttons. These are my previous buttons. Mm, lots of code. Now I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm just gonna go here and. Let me just get one of my unused projects. Don't look at all this stuff. It's private. Okay, so if I just go into this. I've not, I haven't done anything to this. I need to add a new cat. I just need to upload a costume. Any random. That's not it. That's not it. I need just need to a surprise. I'll take a surprise. Okay. This costume. If you want to switch this costume to this costume, but then switch this costume back to this costume, it's really easy with two. But I'm gonna get another surprise. There. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to add a, for just switching the costume, make sure it's always put to your first costume, the costume you want to start with. Now, I you will need two more sprites, so just press paint and then paint. So let's just make a box and then to make an arrow it's actually kind of hard but after some practice you can get it I'm doing a 3d arrow or 2d arrow and I'm not very good at it Well, it's obviously, that's not a good arrow. But, now that you have this, what I like to do is get this, and then I, you, I want to flip it, because then, oh, no, flip it again, and then this will help you make the previous arrow. Just flip it. Then, and this you can just drag this onto here and then get rid of this so I like to size mine at 30 because it's a good size for the arrow 30 so this is the previous and this is the next So now we'll move on to code. For the next button, you will want to add a control, go to events, when this sprite is clicked, and then broadcast. Now this, this sprite will have to receive the broadcast, so then you'll just, when I receive message one, 
I'll go here. Next question. Now the next code that you'll need to do is pretty similar to this. But it is different because you'll have to add one more block to make it work. This is the next, and it's pretty simple. So then we'll have to do just do the same thing. But before you add the broadcast, let's pull it out, but don't put it on the code yet. Go to control, control, put the repeat two. Oh wait, no, no, it's the same thing, but then new message. I'll just call it two since it's the second. Oh come on, two. And then this will refuse, receive it as well. I receive, but then repeat next costume and put it two. And then I just, you see, it works perfectly. It's in the order, and it's in the order backwards. So, uh, one more thing. I, I will do a face reveal at 15 subscribers, so make sure to subscribe and like. Goodbye.